Hi, welcome to the Book of Voice and Fact or Fiction Friday. Today, I want to go over the Book of Watch. As they go into their fifth year, what started out as what could have been a very good thing, unfortunately, Al Zukara took their, his Boca Watch, which was supposed to be a community watchdog group, and turned it into a basically a community turbulent rhetoric group is the best way I could describe it. Unfortunately, what he has done is he's turned this group into a way to divide our great community. I am very disappointed what, what this man has done to our community. He has used our community and divided it in the worst possible way. I've watched him do this online. I've watched him do it in our neighborhoods. And I watched him do it in this most recent bid for his mayor campaign. I had the opportunity to sit down with Al. Unfortunately, he used that opportunity as he's done in other locations and other people. Uh, he secretly videotaped our interview. He had the opportunity to actually air the entire interview, but what did Al do? As typical, he used that videotape, he edited it after he made me agree not to edit our video and um, actually show the whole video. We told him we had technical lit, um, difficulties uploading our video because I was out of the country in Mexico and couldn't upload my video so that it could run in its totality. He took the opportunity, seized it, edited it, and only showed seven minutes of a 47 minute video. I will take the opportunity and prove that, Ed, uh, that Al once again sh did something shady like he's done in the past and edited video. I ask you once again, Al, why don't you show the whole video? Show the people of Boca Raton that you were a raving lunatic when I actually interviewed you. We showed that you had the opportunity to do the right thing. Yet again, you chose not to do the right thing. Just like you chose not to do the right thing and apologize to Jim and Martha Batmazian. Just like you choose to not do the right thing and unify our city, you do the wrong thing and divide our city. I'm going to take over the next few weeks and I'm going to show the people of Boca Raton how the Boca Watch has used its forum and deleted comments. They've banned users from doing the things that they want to do and to unify this great city of ours. And instead, they create havoc. They use the Boca Watch as a tool to basically polarize our city. That's not what we need. We have a great city. The city is on fire. We have the opportunity to come together and work together as great people working together. Do we have issues that we can work together and solve? Does everything come together the way that everyone wants? No. Are there things that, we, that certain people would like better than others? Yes. Are there design issues that people would like addressed? Absolutely. Are there, were there pent up demand for certain buildings that developers felt that they had rights and that people wanted to see a little bit differently? Absolutely. Are there concerns over traffic? Of course there are. Are there things that need to be, con that, uh, need to be addressed at city council? Yes. Are there things that the city wants to be addressed so that all of the community can have come together and talk about and discuss? Yes. But shouldn't they be done in an open forum with honest debate? Shouldn't they be done in a way so that everybody can communicate without having their comments deleted or attacked? Worse yet. You know, at the Book of Voice, we've allowed anybody that wants to come out, have an open, honest debate. Many times I'm actually attacked on our own blog. You take the time to come on and other times that they're posted on other blogs to dislike the Boca Voice because of whatever reason, because some think that I like the sound of my own voice. It's not the case. What I want to do is I want to have an open, honest debate about what's going on. And I want to do it in such a way so that people can do it in a respectful manner. You don't have to attack people. You do not have to raise your voice to be heard. What you have to do is you have to speak to people in an intelligent way. 
you know, a young man that actually speaks very um, well in this town. His name is John Carter. He had the ability um, to uh, be heard. Unfortunately, what happened to him was he went out and he was baited by two older gentlemen. Here's a young man in his early 20s, college student, and he was baited by two older gentlemen that one of them works for the Book of uh, Watch. The other one has um, a lot of commentary done on the Book of Watch. I actually took the time to um, take photos of all of the different um, comments that were um, going back and forth between John and these two gentlemen. They baited him. And then what they did was they deleted all of their comments, only leaving the one comment that John made back to them. Then what did they do? They actually took a picture of his comment and then sent it to the city. Wow, that was an interesting thing. And then they made it look like they did, that he did it to a woman. Now, does that sound like something that you want coming from it? Where did they post it? They posted it on their blog. Now, those are things that happen coming from the Book of Watch and their individuals that are supposedly looking out for the people. Those are not nice things. Those aren't things that people that are looking out for the citizens of Boca Raton do. Those are things that people are not looking out for do. We are intelligent people. We are good people. We're people that live next to each other. We want to live, work, play with each other. We want to have an opportunity to work next to each other. We want to be able to break bread with each other. We do not need to be at war with each other. We need to come together as a community. We need to be able to go to synagogue together. We need to be able to go to church together. We need to be able to go to the beach together, go to the parks together. We want our kids to play with each other. Why is it that we need to create rhetoric so that no one can get along? This doesn't make sense. That's not what we're, that's not the sense of community. If you want to be a sense of community, then you need to come together and be able to have intelligent, articulate conversation that everyone can get along with. Now, we have issues that need to be addressed. You can do that in such a way so that everyone can have open, honest debate. And you don't have to scream at the top of your lungs to do it. You don't have to act like a raving lunatic to be heard. You can have those debates, still be heard, and you might win an argument, you might lose an argument. In the end, whether you win or you lose, at least at the outcome, whether you win or you lose, the overall community wins as long as there's an outcome that everybody can live with. And that's what makes this community great. I love living in Boca Raton, and I have lived here for over 30 years, and I enjoy it, or close to 30 years, I to say, and I really enjoy it. It's a beautiful area, and again, I love the growth. I love that we have two schools that are world-class. We have a healthcare system that is second to none. We have built the fact that we now have a bowl game. We have televised golf now in Boca Raton with the Allianz. We have charities that are here that people die for that, that are just unbelievable. They can't believe how much money that we can actually raise because of the hearts of the people that live here that, that you cannot fathom the, the, the depth of the warmth of the community. But then you sink to the level of someone like Al Zucara that talks about pillars of the community like Jim and Marta and you bring that into the realm of what's happening, and it just doesn't make sense. Can we please rise above that? Let's talk about the things that are make our city great, and let's make our city great again. Let's do the things that are going to make us what we are. We can live way beyond those things if we come together as a community. We had a great election. Susan Haney leads our city to great places. Scott Singer has done a great job doing these town halls. Andrea Levine O'Rourke is going to do a great job coming into the city council and leading and taking that spot. As we do those things, I think we're going to have a great opportunity to forge a new city council with these, this new city council. What I ask you to do is give them a chance. Let them sink together. Allow them to work as a city council and come together as a team. And if we give them that opportunity, who knows? Only the sky's the limit. 
But if we don't step back and give them that opportunity, we'll never know what they can accomplish. It's up to us to give them that room to do it. I ask you to give them the opportunity. It's up to you. What we don't need is we don't need somebody like the Boca Watch that censors everything, sitting back and not giving them that air to move or that air to breathe. And if they fester nothing but fire, that's all you're going to see is fire. If you give them the room to give them what they need, guess what? We will see the things that we need for our city. We have great opportunity. I look forward to seeing you again next week on the Boca Voice and Factor Fiction Friday. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.